Hello everyone. So from the past few days, I was trying to install Simulator 17.5 runtime from Xcode 15.4, but it was failing midway constantly. So I followed some of the steps to do the manual installation of Simulator into my Xcode after updating it to 15.4 version. And I thought to share the steps here so they might be helpful for those who are getting the same issue as I faced. So the first step is basically go to the Apple developer account and enter your credentials there and log into your account. After that, go to the link that is on the top developer.apple.com slash downloads. Here you can see different type of downloads, the iOS betas and other software downloads like these are some of the betas of Xcode. I'll surely try the Xcode 16 beta to check the latest features introduced by WWDC 24. Then I'm going to move to the more tab and here you can search about the relevant tool that you want to install. So here you can see iOS 18 beta version is available. But be very clear when you are installing betas, they may contain a lot of bugs and they may also cause crashes. So here I'm searching the exact simulator that I want, iOS 17.5 simulator runtime. When I'm going to press the show details here, I'm I'm going to click the i17.5 simulator runtime.dmg and it will start downloading. Since it is a huge download of around 8 GB, so it is going to take some time. Once it's downloaded, go to the terminal, run this command, xc run simctl runtime add and then the path to the downloaded runtime. It is going to take some time. You are going to see a verifying the downloads window and then it is going to disappear after that you are going to launch your xcode open the relevant project or create a new project in your xcode window and here you are going to see that the error is removed and you will be able to see the new simulators with the updated version which i am seeing here as 17.4 so i am going to run a previous code that i have created using groupbox I'm going to play that code inside simulator to check that everything is fine. The installation is properly done and configured inside Xcode. So it is going to take some time for the first build. So just wait a few moments and after that, you are going to see that the output is going to appear on the simulator, which means that we are done with the installation. And in this way, you can download any beta in your Xcode as well. I'm going to try out the Xcode 16 beta, which is going to help me to use the elaborative AI features that are published in WWDC 24. So stay tuned for further video tutorials and I hope this is going to be helpful for you. Do not forget to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.